Scorpwana says, one moment please. Scorpwana says, cooking something. Scorpwana says, AFK. Stream Elements says, Scorpwana is now live. Streaming Star Trek Online, Star Trek Online, hurry hurry hurry, in a rush. November 7, 2022.
Just call Mikora says, I need to watch these Chucky movies I've missed because holy crap there is a lot of lore in this show that I am unaware of. You're unaware of. <laughs> There's a lot of that stuff in that show I'm aware unaware of. Which one did you say you left off at? The third one? The third? I don't know what the hell is up with that damn torrent. Ugh. <sighs> Just call Mikora says, like Andy still being around. Yeah, that was surprising to me. And it's the same actor that played him in like the first two movies. Just call Mikora says, I just finished episode six earlier. The cop mom just died. The cop mother. Oh, yeah. Sure is a lot of killing going on in Chucky. Chucky. We need a different method for file sharing. Hmm. I don't know if it's because, like, my torrenter is an older one. That, that shouldn't really have anything to do with it, though. I mean, I've seeded with it. Before. God, what the hell? This is lagging shit. <clears throat> we can go on together. Let's just try to just send you a text file on it to see if it works. I mean, I even, like, made sure. Just call Mikora says, it is probably me. How my internet is set up, I am behind a double NAT, so peers are hard to connect to. Hmm. Just call Mikora says, probably need to set up an FTP server or something. Something. Like on, on my side, on my computer. 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 Get out my old scorp1.com IBM and put them on there. <laughs> that 1994 machine I got there. Probably still works. <laughs> one, one, load one up at a time on Google Drive. <laughs> Just call Mikora says, a 20-year-old server is still a server if it functions. Yeah, it was working great until I turned it off, you know. <clears throat> I can guarantee you. I, can, I mean, it's got Linux on there, Debian Linux. I'll just have to remember all the shit and, like, getting back on to it or something like it. <sighs> Bust out MIRC. <clears throat> DCC D -d -d DCC W get Just call Mikora says I got a Totino's pizza brewing in the oven Tostino's pizza I've never had a Tostino's pizza Is it good? Is it like a uh, thin crust type thing? Judas D. Cott says Judas too high so that's too high, man. So that's just that's just too high, man. Let's see. Boom! How's that? How are you, Judas? What's happening? I need to go check this stove. Judas D. Cott says, "So many." Yes, there's a few more, you know. There was what, like five? Now there's that. Just call Mikora says, Yes, it is good, but it is also Totino's, not Tostino's. I learned this a long time ago from a man named Mandela. Mandela? Judas Mandela? says, I'm good. Yourself? 
Hanging in there. I got something on the stove that I'm trying. It's got some stroganoff, right? Trying to get this some stroganoff going. Boxed shit too, so it's gonna be nasty. Judas Decot says. Yeah. Yum. I could swear it's Tostinos. Why do I want? Why do I want to say Tostinos? Yeah, it's a hamburger helper, but but there's McCormick stroganoff mix that I added to it and sour cream inside the the cooking of it instead of milk or something. And I keep adding a little bit of Judas water here. Judas Decot says. So I have no idea what's going to happen. Just call says, at Judas Decot, sorry the stream started a couple minutes late today. Yeah, I, I had a lot of shit to have to do before I got on here. I'm worried that that thing's boiling over in there, but whatever. <laughs> Judas Decot says, LOL. Do, 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 do. It's going to clear Lilu and go check on it. Because it's, it's either that, you gotta cook it as I'm doing this, or wait till after, and then try to be really quiet and careful more. Because, like, right now, it's like the beginning of when people sleep in this house. If Just call McCorra says, so I think I can do a decent Chucky voice. I was practicing today. You was practicing today, was you? A Danny DeVito ch Chucky voice? Donald DeVito? Oh my. <laughs> Pale Chimera says, now that Elon Musk has bought Twitter and laid off half the staff, he's planning on buying YouTube and Facebook and doing the same with them. To save even more money, he plans on merging the three companies into one, he's going to call it Utwit Face. Romeo and Azulu says, what it is yo. Hey Riz. You twit face. That'd be kind of interesting. I don't know why everybody would be like so pissed off because he bought Twitter. I mean, who gives a shit, right? I don't use it. Didn't bother me none. Pale Chimera says, My insurance agent asked if I had ever hit a deer. I told him that I had, but in my defense, he swung first. Did that not play? Oh, it could be because the tss was still going. Judas Tickle Pickle. It should work. Tickle Pickle. I'll look at it in a moment. Romeo and Azulu says, LOL, you clipped that one. I recorded. Ha ha ha. I, re I recorded uh, the audio as I was sitting Just there. Just call McCover says, I care because the spread of misinformation is very real and I am tired of living in a world of misinformation. I am the Batman. Okay, got it, 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 got it. Let's see why that didn't play. Uh, I gotta make sure that I na have it named correctly for one thing. I'm bad about misspelling shit. Standing up late, getting drunk the night before, Dr. Sam Beckett suffered with a hangover. He woke up in the bathroom near the Just toilet, facing the mess he had made like last night, and driven by an unknown urge to hurl yet again. His only help during this agony was Al, a drinking buddy from his hometown who appeared to have passed out on Sam's couch, having drank many beer. And so Dr. Beckett finds himself drinking day and night, striving to get laid by a whore, and hoping each time that his next beer won't be his last. I know, right? Isn't it, isn't it just amazing that it picks something so damn quick, you know? Let's see. Tickle my pickle! Yeah, I think that's why it didn't, because that other sound was playing. One moment, please. Judas Decott says, 
OMG LOL. Meanwhile, Just call Makora says, I feel ripped off. I need to fix this damn ear pad thing. <sighs> damn it! I think the floor is not working. Is like the floor is not working? Uh, excuse me. I guess this junk's ready. I don't know. That I've got created. Again, it's Hamburger Helper Stroganoff with McCormick Stroganoff Mix and Sour Cream and Water and Water and a little bit more water. So maybe it'd be okay. The only problem is, did I make sure that the noodle stuff was cooked good enough to be tender instead of crunchy? I don't need that to happen again. Hell no. I need to true that shit up if that's the case. So we're gonna we're gonna test it out eventually. I'm gonna stick this plastic fork in this steaming hot piece of shit I have in front of me here. So the fork will go, ow, I'm hurting, I'm melting, I'm melting. Yeah, well. The do the binds. See it's supposed to be like the more stuff you add to the random, the more random it gets. But, for some reason in Python, it's just, it doesn't seem like it's that random. Because what it does for that, the video thing, or the audio playing, if, if there's, you know, if it's going to pick like a random one out of a folder, it gets all the file names into an array or list, and then it selects one on randomly. And some, for some reason, it wants to always pick the damn first one. Ooh, one more time, please. One more time, please. Ooh, look at that. Iconian. Do I have any Iconian stuff I'm using? Let's see. For, what? Damn it, I was already there. Okay. I'll take Romeo a picture in of this. Romeo India Zulu says, Then it's not random and your shit is broke. Right? Romeo India Zulu says, JK Edk. Hey, you're, you're you're not wrong, man. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> Shit is broken. That means I need to find a different way to randomize. Question is, how would I do that? If it's a built-in randomizer, how do we? They can probably break it off to a different program. Like, I have Perl installed. What if I like throw the information into Perl? Let it do its randomizer and spit the shit back out and give it back to Python. That's like a long way around the corner there. Oh, what did, what was right there? Let's see. I just took a picture for a reason. Let's see. View um, something, wherever the fuck they are. Screenshots. Okay, what did I have down there? And why does it take so long to load? Because my computer sucks ass. Okay, it's like a target... A purple target with arrows pointing to the center and a little thing above it. Okay. I love how I don't know how to do shit. All right, this one here is... Well, okay, Hail Chimera no says, that one. I maxed out my event TOS tune yesterday. Cool. Um, nice. Collect that. 
And right there, collect the get right there. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> this shit's nasty. Oh, God. Hmm. <laughs> I love cooking in a rush. Especially when I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. Hail Chimera says, half my tunes are now maxed out. Oh god, that's gonna kill you the rest of these. Hmm. Half of them are maxed out. I don't know how many of mine are. Oh god. Do you approve or not approve, Judas? If you do not approve of a sound that I have of you, tell me and I will take it away. Judas D. Cott says, I'm FK and dead. <laughs> Romeo and Azulu says, Dude Scorp, I saw that PlayStation's Deluxe is over 370, ours is at like 267. I have enough to get 2,200 zen right now, but I want to wait like a week or two and get it just before the sales drop. Ooh, what if what if it like um, what if it like peaks or goes up, you know, and you get less? Oh, mm. I don't remember adding salt. Well, how that happened? I think I cooked something to make it salty. Maybe overcooking. Romeo oh, Azulu says, it won't jump dick. that high that fast. <laughs> Most I'll lose is a couple hundred, but by then I will have more dilly to flip. Mother dick. Romeo and Azulu says, yes. LOL. Oh, God. I should not have added those together. I don't know what I did. <clears throat> Made like a new concoction of stroganoff or some shit. Oh, goodness fucking gracious. Mm. <laughs> oh, ho. Oh. Hmm. Maybe more water next time? I don't know. Hmm. <coughs> Shit. Hmm. <coughs> I got a weird look uh, from my the associate I was working with. Whenever I was buying some hamburger meat and some uh, some sour cream. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um. Doc, Doc, come in. God fucking damn it! Road my joke. I'm just gonna be spit that out. <laughs> I need to make some of them louder. Because I wasn't aware that I was recording like at a low level. 
And I can record at five minute intervals, so I was like, record, stop. Make a new file, record, record, we're gonna Over and 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 over then and over. P.O. Box 420, suck it, Avenue. <laughs> Temporal <clears throat> Judas D. Cott says Oh lord lol <laughs> Task Force Omega That's what needs it really badly There we go Okay Leave that one Romeo and Diazulu says, that was a fun time, as always of course Judas. You the man, man. He's the man, man. I mean, whatever works. <laughs> <coughs> Judas D. Cott says, haha. <laughs> oh, that worked out pretty good. GG <laughs> GG Oh, I forgot about these. Oh, skills are skills. Let me go again. Skills. Pardon, pardon. Oh, you hit like a spot. Mm -hmm. I guess cooking it too much. Little charred sizzle there. Mm. That's almost done. I got it later. Oh, in. double damn it. <laughs> Romeo and Azulu says, So I got me a new notebook. Sometime this week I will organize my character needs on paper so as to not need to character hop to see who needs what. Good. That is a damn good idea. <clears throat> I need to do something like that. It's a lot of time having to jot it all down, too. <clears throat> Are you going to try to Judas draw, like, the stuff? At Romeo and Diazulo Big Brain Plays. Big brain. You gonna like put down all the specs and stuff, like have a chart and all that Romeo kind of thing. Romeo Indiazulu says, if it wasn't so laggy, it wouldn't be an issue. For real. If it's it's not Star Trek, if it's not laggy. <laughs> That's what makes this game work, the hamsters. The sacrificial hamsters. Hell, if you take pictures of it with your phone, you probably get access it with your phone faster than the game. Back to your station. The bombs have returned. Romeo and Diazulu says. Well, we gotta tell Cryptic they need to go to the pet store and get more hamsters. Then they get some fresh hamsters. 
Why does it say hamsters? <laughs> it just separated it out. Hamsters. We need to go get some of my hamsters. Mm. Boy. Boy, let me go get some in there for you, boy. Romeo and Diazulu says, typo. Well, it's, I still understood it. What, but I don't know why it had to, like... It almost like it, it separated it itself or something. It was really weird. Hmm. I was afraid that this stroganoff wouldn't have any taste because, you know, usually nowadays whenever you get the uh, hamburger helper stuff, it, it tastes like cardboard or nothing at all. But me adding that with it spiced it up a lot. And usually it doesn't do that. It's a concentrated type of something. It didn't spread well or something like that. More condensed, I guess. I'm still gonna eat it. It'd be a waste. Mm. It's like that uh, leftover Halloween kind of candy junk we have at the store. It's in a little bucket there near the register. And uh, I was like, oh, neat, a little fruit chew thing. I reach my hand in there and like, hmm, banana chew, it says. All right, I'll try this. My God, it didn't even taste like a banana at all. I don't know what the fuck that was. <coughs> Spit that shit out. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, Dollar General's uh, getting an managers angry at them again. All this stuff that we, that are in the policy to do and certain ways of doing it. Since there's a new CEO, I guess he wants to sh tell everybody he's the boss kind of shit. So he's like bringing out a bunch of the things that everyone's kind of not done in a while, you know. And um, it's got all the people that have never had to deal with it, dealing with it. <clears throat> and they're pissed off about it. Like whenever we do um, one of those roll tainer, the big cage things with all the freight on it. Not not the U-boats that have like just two ends, but this thing's complete like squared up cage thing. Well, whenever one of those is pulled out of the back stock room or warehouse, whatever you want to call it, we're supposed to write down on a piece of paper, which is like this document thing, what kind of roll tainer we got out what date it is, number of whatever it is or some shit like that, when we started, so we had to write the time down, and then you, you work on it. When you get done, you write the time you ended it being done. Then you do this for every one of them. Like, as you go get one, you have to go to where this paper is, write the information down. It takes, like, you know, a few minutes, whatever, depending on what's going on. And not everybody was used to that. I was used to it. Back whenever I worked at the other store, that's what we did. We It's a, called a progressive um, inventory sheet or some shit, I don't know. And they're wanting managers to have a daily planning thing made out, which that's always been a thing too, but nobody's ever cared to do it. Because the manager has to sit in front of the computer for like 30 minutes of the morning like um, filling out this huge form of like what they expect to be done by each person that's going to be working. And um, they're upset about that. And I said, well, you ain't seen the half of it. I said, if they're going to go like old school now, there's all sorts of shit about to start up. It's about to get real, son. So now our manager's just like, had enough, you know, kind of like, oh, whatever the, f you know, they didn't give a shit, right, you know. They had one of those conference calls, and all the managers sit around, you know, and the district manager or whatever talks on there, talking about all the shit they're going to be doing, and the managers started, like, um, voicing their concerns and pissed off or whatever, and the DM was like, uh, well, that's just all I wanted to know, bye. Just hang up on all of them. <laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> There's going to be like a bunch of walkouts happening soon. I don't know. 
<clears throat> Freight down the aisles. Someone came in uh, just the other day I worked with at the previous Dollar General. And she said the one that we both used to work at, um, you couldn't even get down the aisle anymore. There was just uh, just like the roll tainers and the U-boats that you push around. There's just up and down the aisle field <clears throat> where you can barely move and maneuver your shopping cart and stuff. And um, I was like, wow, you know, that's that's insane. And now since they have the new system rolling out for most stores, not all stores, just most of them, if you were to say buy an item at uh, one of the stores and <clears throat> it print off the new receipt and you wanted to return it to just another Dollar General. But if this Dollar General doesn't have that new system, <clears throat> you can't return it for your money back. You can only exchange it for something of equal or greater value. Tell me that's not going to piss you off. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. If Sound I push it any choice. harder, the whole Just thing will blow. Just call played given IT all she's got for zero bits. Just call Mikora says, stop snitching on me. Stop snitching? <clears throat> I don't know how to turn that off. I don't even know how it came on, to tell you the truth. <clears throat> Romeo India Zulu says, LOL. And um, since every Saturday is a five dollars off of twenty five dollar coupon, just call Makora says, turn it off by turning it off. Well, if I did, if I completely turn it off, it'll do away with the whole sound thing at the bottom. <clears throat> I don't know how it came on. I'd have to look at that first. But um, and I need to have time. I keep forgetting about it. Um. So, for one of these paper $5 off $25 coupons, it prints off with your receipt, and it's to be used on Saturdays. Well, every system and every just store... Just call Mikora says, call Sears. Call Sears. Um, just call Mikora says, I'll call them later. Just call Mikora says, you'll call them now. You'll call them now. Just call Mikora says, I'll call them now. You'll call them now. <clears throat> um, so the, the $5 coupon, right? All right. Romeo India Zulu says, Sears don't exist in my neck of the woods. Heck, it, it barely exists anywhere anymore. <laughs> <clears throat> We've got a, like a mall that's dying. I mean, there's probably a few of them still there. But <clears throat> With a $5 coupon... It prints off with every receipt, only can be used on Saturdays, sometimes Friday, but mostly Saturdays. And we just scan it onto our system, you know, when someone says, okay, I think I got $25 worth of shit, and you're like, okay. They give you the coupon, you scan it with your handheld thing at the register, or you scan it on the register bed, if the printer printed it out clearly. Or you can type it in, one way or the other. However, the new systems... Just call Mikora says, Kmart killed Sears. And Amazon. Kmart killed Amazon? But the new system won't allow the $5 off of $25 coupons to work. They don't scan and they can't be typed in. But they print them out. Isn't that crazy? So Kmart killed Sears and Amazon? Or... Kmart killed Sears, and Amazon killed Sears. I, can, I used to like going into, like, a, a mall. Just call Mikora hmm. says, yes. It was always interesting to watch all the old people walking around it. Though I didn't have a close mall to hang out at, it only go whenever I went to visit my grandparents. Just call Mikora says... Mall walkers. Mall walkers, that's right. They trucking along, too. Got their little sweat bands and everything on, and they're going 100 miles an hour. Romeo India Zulu says, What you do is, hand the customer $5 out the till AMD tell the boss you honored the discount and to suck it. 
<laughs> get a you get fired. <laughs> the system um, glitched up and it showed that a, a, a sales associate that was off uh, yesterday actually worked and it was crazy. I tell you, that thing's going to get somebody fired. It said that um, <clears throat> we were $43 over in our deposit yesterday when we weren't. <clears throat> the day before that, we were $100 short, which we weren't because the money was all there. According to the register, it was there, but the office computer, it wasn't there because the system crashed. I told him the system crashed. When it crashes, it doesn't sync because after every transaction, it sends that information to the, the office computer. But if it crashes, it doesn't send it, so therefore it doesn't document it. Dollar General would be like, nah, uh our system Just call is fallible. says, when I was taking a break from being a lawyer, for reasons, I became friends with a mall walker, even sold her some cool shoes. <laughs> I'm taking a break from being a lawyer, what the hell? I didn't know you were a lawyer. <clears throat> I wonder if um if I were to upload Just call me says second best lawyer in Albuquerque. Second best lawyer in Albuquerque. Oh, you're referencing Better Call Saul. <laughs> I wonder if it's permitted to put video files on a website <clears throat> that is hosted by DreamHost. I guess that's all I get after that. Look, if I uploaded an AVI file. <clears throat> Would they be all like, uh -uh, and it could kill my website? Just call me, Cora says, it is not. I mean, you'd have to get caught, but no, it isn't permitted. I mean, it's just, you know, <clears throat> hypothetical talking, speaking, or whatever. But, it, but they are pre Doctor Who. I mean, they're not like. <clears throat> ripped from um, DVDs or anything like that. You know? They're not ripped from a website. They're old school Doctor Who that people recorded, pieced back together. <clears throat> so I think that's val That's very fair. You know? Uh, uh, damn it. These ear things keep falling off of my headset. I need new ones, but they don't make them anymore. I just wonder how long that would take to upload. If I were to do that. That's what I'm saying. We can get out M I R C D C C connecting. But I, I like the whole factor about torrents, though. You know? Because, you know, if just you, you call just says, it. just because you think it is fair doesn't make it so. Oh, you no. can thank Disney for that. Fuck Disney. <clears throat> this world needs to grow the fuck up. Get past its differences, getting enlightened and all that kind of shit. Not the world. People. Human. Humanity. 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 Just call me Cora says, never going to happen. Never going to happen. Well, the only other option is uh, genocide, Ben. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It'll, it'll happen. It just won't happen in our lifetime, is all. It won't happen in the next 500 years either. It'll happen way out there. When there's like barely an ounce of humanity left. <clears throat> just call Makora says, maybe Sam's lifetime then. Yes, maybe Sam's lifetime. Theorizing that he can pick his own nose and throw it in the trash can, Dr. Sam Beckett. 
I found the original um, little snippet recordings I made of that while I was looking for that ghost file thing. <clears throat> Just Call Makora says, oh right, that came on today. The fall finale. For real, yeah. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Shit, it is Monday. <laughs> I forgot. <clears throat> mm hmm. Hmm. I want to say, like, that, that ghost file thing, the audio file, it was a little kid, right? Like, like a little boy or something. Sound like he was talking. I don't know where the fuck that is. I save everything. It was around 2006 or 2007. Because <clears throat> apparently Delquan at the time, Juanita McCants, um, she has a, a YouTube channel now. It's called She Spins. You should check it out. Um, <clears throat> well, she was like starting up that para hunters thing apparently, because that's what I was reading in the log file that I found of that day or year. And then you've made your Just own investigation. Just says, I think I am going to make a Klingon that rhymes with Gary, and it was me and another person of my age. No kids involved. No kids involved. <clears throat> no, 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 not not involved, but the sound file. What the hell? I didn't get nothing. The like the, 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 the audio file that was played, like when you play it back it sounded like a child's voice. Boo boo kitty fat. I don't know. What the hell that Wait, does that make sense? I'm like little little brain farts are showing up in my head right now. <clears throat> Just call Makora says, the specific sound I recall it being a weird sound. Kind of like a high pitch yelp or something or growl. Hmm. I'd have to think too of what computer I was using at the time. Because if so, that computer could still be behind me. <laughs> I wonder if it was the Dale. Was I using XP back then? The Dale 2400 that I had. Because it would still be there. Everything's still the way it is. When I get done with the computer, I kind of set it aside as it is. It's like a relic. My first uh, personal computer that I had is uh, with a Just Northgate. Just call Nicole says, I don't recall. I can barely remember yesterday. Barely remember yesterday. Don't worry, that's why I have log files from way back when. Would you like me to send them to you? <coughs> you can reread all your stuff. Chorn server. Your server. Eric's server. <clears throat> I have it all archived and zipped up in RAR files and shit like that. I even still have that script in MIRC that can search for specific words inside of each, uh, each one of them. Old Doctor Who discussions. I figured someone who would have, like, the biggest damn thing would be Yachts back then. He'd have a log file. I asked Chorn about that. I was like, well, that was, this is, like, maybe ten plus years ago, but... If uh, he still had the log file, he said no, he purged it after uh, he gave him to me. And I'm like, okay, well, shit. I loved Infobot. It was so fun. <clears throat> Damn it, my feet hurt. <sighs> ben? Ben Dover? Is that you? Ben Dover? Bend over. Oh, dude, I forgot I have my people over there. Just Call Makora says, Remember I had a single episode of New Who that I refused to believe existed and skipped on rewatches? Chibnall sure did change that. He sure did change that? Wait, a single episode of New Who that you refused to believe existed and skipped on rewatches? So you watched it the first time, but you didn't watch it again. 
I didn't watch a single one of those episodes twice. I watched them and kind of forgot about them. Chin balls. Hmm. And which episode was that? If I could even remember if you tell me. Dictor who? Doctor one. I didn't know they had like a, a who culture, like uh, the guy, the people that do Trek culture. There's a they have who culture, and that's pretty interesting. So Just call me Cora says exactly. I would rewatch Doctor Who before every season started. It involved a kid and an alien that possessed her OR something. Hmm. A kid and an alien that possessed her. I don't remember that. <laughs> See? I tend to forget traumatic events, so I must have forgot about that. Like, what was it wasn't the first episode. What, what was the first episode with Jodie Whittaker's doctor? Something like... A, a monster hunter guy? Just Call Mikora says, you should rewatch Doctor Who episode by episode. No, thank you. I did sit there and watch that one episode again with the, you know, like I, was, I mentioned yesterday. But Damn, you know, to, to actually own Doctor Who? Mm. It's almost like buying Mythbusters. It was uh, the, the the guy that, that saved teeth, right? The first episode with Whitaker. I don't remember the second one. I don't remember a lot of them, actually. Remember old man Graham? But he was just in the last episode, too, anyway. The Flux... I kind of forget about that. The dog guy. That every human has a, a dog. Or something. Alien dog guy. Person. Mm. Just Call Mikora says, What I usually do is do a best of thing of Doctor Who. So the first and last of every season and then favorites of mine like The Girl in the Fireplace, the girl Turn in the Left, fireplace. Midnight, Don't Blink, so on and so forth. I can remember a lot of those. You know. Wasn't it a reference, um, like the first episode with Capaldi? Where he's got the dinosaur and it's got the TikTok robot type people or whatever. Isn't that the same people as the Girl in the Fireplace people? Like the the same type ship, but a sister ship, was that it? The girl in the fireplace, gal, the gal. Don't blink was awesome. Hey, they are the angels. And turn left. That was uh, the one with Donna Noble, right? Like she gets that that thing leached onto the back of her. Just call Mikora says, I would need to rewatch, but maybe. Because I remember the, the, the girl from the fireplace or whatever, it was like TikTok type robots, you know, like clockwork robots where they'd make ticking sounds. and They were going in and out of like this uh, one lady's uh, time stream or whatever, and they had a ship at, named after her. Um, I can't remember the name of the ship, though. But the clockwork ones from Capaldi's Doctor Who first episode with and Clara and Capaldi, when they were in the past, the guy was a TikTok type robot or whatever, and he said something about the sister ship. What, he's like, "Why do I, why do I know this or something?" I can't really remember. Capaldi. Mm -hmm. Capaldi. The man got a mouth like a sailor. He also survived uh, a, vol a vol volcano Just eruption. Just Madame de Pompadour. Yeah. I will never forget my favorites. 
Madame de Pompous ass. <laughs> yeah, I mean they had those that robot people, right? On there. Like click tick 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 tick. They look like V from Vendetta. The guy fox mask look to their face. I would like you to watch the uh, first ever Cyberman episode and tell me what you think of that when you Just get around to it. says, Donna will forever buy my most hated and favorite companion. Hated and hated and favorite at the same time. I just I just love like her first introduction to Doctor Who, where she's like in her wedding dress and his TARDIS and Just call me yelling at says, him. All because her first episode, she was so annoying. <laughs> yeah. When did she like went into the TARDIS just yelling at him? Says, but they fixed her when she became a companion. Yeah. The Doctor Donna. In the emotional time whenever Rose came back and hugged the doctor and Damn. I wanna rewatch that now. Binge watching who Doctor Who Doctor The Doctor Doctor Watch yeah. Jamie, the companion from Scotland way back in the day of the second Doctor. He always had a battle cry. He said Kragatoa whenever he'd run out and hit people with his sword and shit. That was always a thing, like, in, in back then, who? Um, Just call Makora says, also the Ood prophecy was so good. A twist I didn't pick up on. About how stories of the Doctor Donna would be told across the universe. Doctor Donna. You pick, yeah. You used to pick up on a lot of things before they ever happened, and I always got like excited whenever they did happen. Uh, very much. Uh, very much. I was watching a video. Just call me Cora says, I stopped trying to figure out TV shows and movies because it took the fun out of actually enjoying them. It's like figuring out a magic trick. Or knowing how the trick is done, so whenever you're watching the performer, you're like, meh. The mask magician done it again. Dude, you know what's crazy? Okay, the mask magician, right? He came out, he showed like how all these tricks are done. People to this day still, they would get on Penn and Teller's bullshit, or whatever, not bullshit, but uh, fool us or whatever. And they would attempt to do those tricks in front of Penn and Teller. And I'm like, my God, did, do you people not know that they know what these are? And this was televised, so the audience knows too. What the fuck? You know. <laughs> what was it? It was... Um, that illusionist guy that was spinning and he got impaled or something, you know, kind of illusion that they have. and Everyone knows how that one's done. So, but yeah. It takes the fun out of knowing, like, what's going to happen, like, with spoiler stuff or whatever like that. Like, the next time trailers that used to come out when Doctor Who, uh, you know, for the next week. Which I still, I still have the one I created for the video game. He's terrified. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find the link for that. YouTube.com. YouTube. I should have like a YouTube video player. But then it'll get copyright like ball sacked up and everything. Ten times Doctor Who appeared, would you least expect it? The hell. Baby Bat meets his little brother for the first time. Why do I have that on there? Okay. Alright. What are you looking for? Oh, yeah, me. Okay. YouTube Studio. YouTube. Or is it YouTube? Ch 
Just call me Cora says, I miss late 90s early 00s Fox. Shows yes. like Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction and Magic Secrets Revealed. Just call me Cora says, the internet killed all the cool shows. The, inter the internet. <laughs> the internet didn't just kill it. We killed ourselves. Oh, no. The Mandela Dam effect. Your channel. That's why we could go back and rewatch everything in the world. It'd be like Will Smith and uh, whatever that zombie movie was in. Doctor Who. Doctor. There it is. Copy link. And then paste that shit. Scorpwana says, HTTPS slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch. Watch. V equals Zunar 790 VQMU. <clears throat> Okay, next. No, Amy, he's terrified. O'Neill. O'Neill, oh, father, wherever you are. All right, so that, 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 right, Leah. You know, if I were actually someone who uh, was a responsible streamer, is she naked? Mm. Close enough! <laughs> um, every time someone linked to anything, I would like uh, probably write all the links down and, or well, put them in the YouTube version of all this. But I'm not that good at shit. It takes too long and it means you'd be more involved with it. But since nobody watches this shit anyway, I don't bother. Waiting, we were waiting. He's delirious. No, I mean, he's terrified. Souffle girl. Not souffle girl, souffle girl. Just call me Cora says, this is why the biggest of streamers hire people to run their YouTube. They just don't have the time to do it all themselves. That's sad. I guess whenever you first start out, you do. I mean, other than streaming, um, that dude Boris, you know, he does everything. Uh, he had a new uh, video come out, too. I wanted, I wanted to watch that. I don't know, like, you know... I guess if you find somebody that uh, can maintain it well enough, I mean, it's a good paying gig, I suppose. Like when I watch those uh, Trek culture episodes, you know, they have like the, just the people that do the talking and then the person that actually edits it together and gets all the footage and, you know, actually makes the video that goes up, you know, that's completely different. It's like a news station type thing, I guess. You know, back when people used to actually work for the news and do stuff, you know, they go out and hunt down that story, and then they, they themselves would read it on, on the television or whatever. On the, 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 the television or the TV. Um, but now all they do is just sit there and read it from a teleprompter, you know. <clears throat> and they don't even like do the story. They just repeat what's written.
The leader of the pack. To boom. The Voth. That's one of those. Now time for the second one. N -n -n -n. Oh, that's about to be captured. I wonder if I can catch on to that one. Mm. If I can get a little bite out of it, it'd be a whole lot faster. A howl, a whole lot. Damn it! To fuck, they already did it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh great giant. <clears throat> He's delirious. No, Amy. He's terrified. I wasn't aware that my um, U torrent wasn't like uh, port forwarded anymore. I had to redo that. Shine of a biatch. <laughs> I know one way to 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 send files and shit. Old 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 school. Emule. That's still actually functioning too. Every once in a while I'll pop on there just to check shit out. It's still there. Oh. Romeo and Zulu says, Emu. Emule. It's like E M U L E. It's a file sharing thing, kind of like Napster was way back in the day, or LimeWire. It's still a thing out there. Even though it hasn't been updated in, about, what, 14 years or so. It was the mid uh, 2000s, 2000 to 2005, I think was the last update it ever received. It's a file sharing protocol type thing, you know, where if you have a file and you connect to its servers and you can share files between each other. It could be any file, though. It didn't have to be like a copyright thing or anything. It's just, you know, files. Files! Fit flops and flyers. Flyers. Yeah, flowers. A mule's little brother. Frankie Mule. Frankie Mule Nez. <laughs> you little invisible Voth bastard, I'm gonna kick your ass. You know, the anti bad, you beat the idea, but you bet him, do He saw that, you son bitch. You did bitch, that. Bitch, let me just fucking hit you. Let's go. God damn. <laughs> Let's see. Anything else I added? Pies and snakes. 
Unless it's just Judas from that. Yeah. Unless it's just Judas. My. Mm -hmm. Careful now. They be pines. Pines, mate. Pies. <laughs> I would have got more of uh, hers or whatever, but there was just stuff like background going on, and Judas would talk over, but you know, just them talking. So I didn't really have any anything I could get. That I didn't think. And unless everybody else can find something, I could clip it. Butter, butter, butter. I'm hating it. Oh, I need to dump these things since March. Shit. Pies. Come on, get the red alert off of there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Flanking damage, detected. Flanking damage detected. Ooh. So on console right now, Riz, what what event had things going on for y'all? Is it the last event still, or like uh, are they gonna do a a red alert after or what? <laughs> Rhymes to keep the secrets when we fall beyond the clouds. There upon the rainbow. <laughs> 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 I can't deny I'm tempted. Hail Chimera says, get shit on, dude. Exactly. Shit, get on. I'd like to know the origin of that. That'd be interesting to find out. Where did where did get shit on come from if Judas is still here? When was the first time, if you could remember... You ever said it? Just Paul McCover says it came from the internet. It came from the internet. O'Neill and right there. Was it already a thing on the internet? That's what you're saying? Fire when ready. Pale Chimera says, blow me down and call me a windmill. Blow on down me. <clears throat> pinching, ping pinching, ba ding ba ding da ding ching da ding ching ding. Oh, tomorrow is that damn fresh truck. Our truck finally showed up at work. The freight truck. It's being late by... What is it? comes on Friday? So, three days. They told me I needed to 
be more like uh, someone else that is fast or whatever at work. And I said, I can't. I'm me. I'm who I am. I'm not fast at all. I'll fall down before I get faster. I mean, these people just forget that I've been with the damn company since for 11 and a half ish years. Shit. I'm wore the fuck out. I'm fucked the wear out, yo. I'm the fuck out wear, yeah. Fuck me? Fuck you! Not you! Fuck you! Miggy! Miggy! Say, fuck you, Daniel Sign. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, Daniel Sign. You fuck a chicken. Yeah. Show me fuck the chicken. <laughs> but Mr. Miyagi, <laughs> you never told me how to do that, Hail Mr. Time Miyagi. Hail says, we need some Gordon Ramsay insult commands. Look him up and find him. Pick him up. Find me where and link me to and stuff like that, yo. Yo, 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 Mr. White, Mr. White. Yo, 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 Mr. White, Mr. White. Like a YouTube video uh, at the timestamp or something, you know? Because I've I've don't I've never really watched Gordon Ramsay much. I know like his shows and stuff, but I haven't like actually sat there and watched a full show or episode of what his cooking shit and all that bullshit. Ball chicky bow wow chicky bow wow ball chicky bow wow wow chicky chicky chicky. Yeah, 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 that shit was salty. It's chocolate salty balls. Chocolate salty balls. When you're alone, you're not alone. Not really. Run home, Jack. Run home, Jack. No, you idiots. Oh, home run, Jack. Home run, Jack. Something magical about that movie. I swear. I swear it's so magical about that movie. I swear. With my naked eye, I saw the rolling man. Wait, no, no. Goody goody gumdrops. How about we end that one fast? Pale Chimera says. We no longer have goody goody gum drop ice cream. Oh. Is it called something else? You ever wonder about uh, toothpaste? It says cavity protection on it. Why are we protecting cavities? Shouldn't we not get cavities? Shouldn't it say anti-cavity protection? Instead of cavity protection. Just Call Micover says, I always liked the ice cream bars of cartoon or video game characters that would slightly melt and the face would look deformed. I remember those. 
<laughs> I remember that. Pale Chimera says, deformed carrot face. Deformed carrot face. Fist, anal fist, and yeah. Oh my God! Today, <clears throat> some dude <coughs> came in to buy beer, and um, he uh, set like uh, his money down on the counter. He set the beer down, and I said, I "Need your ID, please." He goes, "Oh man, I don't have an ID." Wait, hold on. I wonder if he, and he, that's all he said. I wonder if he, and then he walked off. He went out the door. I thought, okay, he's going to come back. His money's here, you know. The beer he wants to buy is here. I gave him about two minutes. Then I was like, okay, I can't hold off on this. So since it was asking for a birth date entry, you can stop that. Because it'll just be as if nothing ever happened. I mean, and I checked out the next person. Next person, I had this guy's money and everything set to the side, you know. And, um, he never showed back up at all. He was just gone. I looked out in the parking lot. I was like, where's this guy at? So we have his money at our store in a little Ziploc. Or, well, not a Ziploc, but like a little envelope thing. If he ever comes back, whoever he was, I don't remember his face. <laughs> Guess he was too drunk to notice he left money. I don't know. <laughs> But when he said, oh, I don't have an ID, I was like, okay. Just call me, Cora says, it was me, Barry. Me, Barry. Me, Barry. It was like 20 bucks, too. Just sitting there. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Damn it. Damn it, Meg. Go, Barry, go! Run, Barry, run! Barry? Daddy? Sire C underscore says, Aloha. Aloha to you too, Cersei. How are you? How is Hawaii today? Or this evening, I should say. Eve night. It's getting closer to being night. Over there. <laughs> Let's see. Sire C underscore says, mildly upsetting but good. Hmm. No volcano erupted, has it? An actor that once played Bruce Lee lives in Hawaii, and he no longer acts. Sire C underscore says, no, but I know a few people who would make bad offerings. The bad offerings. No thankies. Jason Lee lives over there in one of the islands. I can't remember which one. He played Bruce Lee in uh, the Dragon movie, Bruce Lee story. He got out of acting and just went into, uh, I think, farming or something. Over there. Which is really odd. Dude was pretty damn good at acting. Regerts? I wonder how I am Aquathor dude's doing. <clears throat> he was talking about um, moving away from Hawaii because he's he's not from there, but um, 
from like Missouri or something like that, I think. And he was going to move back home or whatever. Because he um, had a, was it a, not a charter over there, but um, scuba diving lessons type thing and would take people around diving and whatnot. I thought that's pretty cool. That's why he like, he, Aqua Thor, because he's like, he looks like a, a combination of Aquaman and Thor. So it's a pretty interesting name that he gave himself. I thought it was pretty, pretty fascinating. Fantastic. Very fantastic. Brilliant. Brilliant. It was very brilliant. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. <laughs> Sire C underscore says, My uncle made an offensive slur today and I wasn't in a position to say anything to him due to it being in transit. Oh, y'all are traveling together in close confined areas and he said something that upset you? And you just had to just bite your tongue and not respond. <clears throat> and you have Sire that weird C feeling. Sire says, would upset anyone with half a brain cell. Eey. Well, people who are older, they tend to just kind of speak their mind, you know, and think that we're all supposed to accept what they say is uh, acceptable. But, um, like I was always told, you need to get a haircut. Sire C underscore says, that's not speaking your mind, that's being rude. Wow. And I was told I should stop wearing picture shirts. She just wear normal clothing like everybody else. Now all I do is just wear just normal shit. I don't even have clothes, really. I have work clothes and lounging clothes, and that's about it. Yep. Well, one day, like I told, uh, just called me core earlier, one day when we are all enlightened and everything and have no problems in the world ever, we'll all get along. To which... Never was a thing that was going to never happen there. So, mass genocide it is, then. It wasn't about Twit or Twitter, was it? Because you know, since since uh, Elon took that over, I guess people have been kind of backlashing about that. Sire C underscore says, "We all know those people who deserve to hold a phaser backwards." Oh wow! Disintegrating setting, or uh, you know, what, like uh, okay, of the settings that a phaser can do in in not real life, but in Star Trek. Stun, kill, disintegrate. Which one of those would it, would it be set to? <clears throat> Why do the Voth run with their arms out like that? It's so weird. I'd have them run with their hands in front of them or something. Or or normal. Sire C underscore says, stun. Every time. A dead troll can't work. A dead troll can't work. <laughs> Damn. You must have really said something bad, like super official. Why would... I don't understand why people you know, like have to say certain things and you know, to upset others or whatever, whether whether it be speaking their mind or just being rude anyway. It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, whether it's like if someone 
voice their concern of something or if they look weird or whatever to the other person. Sirecy underscore says, it's possible to speak your mind and still be polite about it. Yeah. You ain't gonna wear them shoes with that shirt, are you? <laughs> it's old Jeff Fox for the joke. <clears throat> Unless a situation like was stirred and I don't know, like they just speak their they they just speak what they want to speak and they don't care who hears what. Sire C underscore is. says, "Sorry." I don't take no shape for people using excuses to be rude. Ah. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about uh, riding with uh, him right now, right? Like, um... Uh, Wherever you went to, that was it, and you don't have to go back the same way or traveling or anything. Sire C underscore says, I might have to on Thursday. Ah. Well, the next time something like that may happen, just give him a big hug. <laughs> If they if they want to be rude. Sire C underscore says, but I want nothing to do with this uncle now. Oh. Damn. Yeah, they they just need a big hug. What's going on with this warthog? Okay. War Targ. He's jumping up and down. Sire C underscore says, Yeah, I'll give him a big hug and say I'm your relative and I'm gay too. You big B. Sire C underscore says, Make him real uncomfortable. Put some hits on him. You know, like, uh... Is he, like, uh, way older? Or, like, a young uncle or what? No, Sire C underscore says, he's from the Opa shirt days of Hawaii. Ah, okay. Old school. <clears throat> so he's set in a certain way of values and doesn't, uh, doesn't want to have, like, his version of reality Kale different. says, why don't we celebrate the person who killed Hitler? Because we don't know who killed him. Apparently, Hitler lived out his days in Brazil. Or something. Isn't that like the conspiracy or something like that? Just Call Mikover says, Hitler killed himself. <laughs> so you want to celebrate Hitler then? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> It's called a joke, people. I don't know. It wasn't a very funny one. I'm sorry. Sire C underscore says, Sometimes the best parties are the ones where you ignore the host. Hell yeah. Make it your own party. Be, be the host. If someone's hosting, you don't like the way they're doing it, do it your damn self, right? Fall, Voth, fall. Oh, he went inside someone's house. Why don't we, like, explore this area? This would be kind of cool, like, to, to travel in between these buildings or whatever.
I've always said I'm going to get a different weapon for you, Shanko, in here. I never do, though. Pale Chimera says, There's FBI records stating that the FBI believed Hitler did in fact escape to South America. Yeah, I, I mean, that's not what I've always heard, you know. That, that is what I've always heard, that he actually did escape. And he went to live in South America, in Brazil, or something, of somewhere around that area. And lived out his days, and then something happened to him, or whatever. <clears throat> but it's only just a speculation, I mean. Pale Chimera says, I have seen those records, too. They're round, and they fly very well when, throw when tossed. <laughs> it's like J. Edgar Hoover or whatever. What was that dude's name? The old guy that like disappeared or whatever. Not J. Edgar Hoover, but damn it, I can't remember. <sighs> Rick James, bitch. Sire C underscore says, even if Toothbrush Nose Hair did escape to there, the world was better off without acknowledgement of its future tense acts. Yeah. <laughs> Toothbrush nose hair. <laughs> That's funny. <sighs> well, no, no, what was the deal with that mustache anyway? I mean, I, I don't understand. Uh, well, it's, I guess it would be like a thing, like a different era wearing certain things or dressing Sire C certain underscore way. underscore says, it was the style of the time. And I'm wondering, like, who did it before Hitler, and then who stopped doing it after Hitler, right? Had Hitler had a different facial hairdo, you know, would they stop doing that? You know, like handlebar mustache or something of that nature. I mean, could you imagine, though, like uh, all the people that did have that little mustache thing or whatever... And then all of a sudden... Sire C underscore you know, says, I saw it on popular media from 1905 to 1945. It's like, how many people saw that Hitler used it and they're like, well, I guess I gotta shave that off, you know? <laughs> I know Laurel and Hardy, uh, Laurel on there, I think. Or there was a, is, what, what, I can't remember the, who's the who or what. But one of them um, had that. And um, Charlie Chaplin put it in his... Uh, repertoire or whatever whenever he was pretending to be his character but I think it was because he was mocking that I don't know that was before Hale Hitler Chimera though, says he cut his mustache due to gas mask use and kept his mustache as was after oh well I guess it would yeah make some sense cause uh that would the the hair would allow the uh airflow around it to to exist there or to uh to enter and exit Instead of being sealed, he was kind of crazy. They say, a little out there in left field, kind of like a Howard Hughes of sorts. Howard Hughes used to pee in jars and keep that shit. Me, I just use water bottles. No, <laughs> yeah, you think I'm joking? Um, <laughs> Lewis, 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 Lewis. Mom. 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 Mommy. 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 Mama. 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 Ma. 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 Mom. 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 Mommy. Mommy. Sire C underscore says, Mama. Sometimes pee in bottles when I have kidney stones. Hi. TMI. Hashtag TMI. Oh, there's no such thing as too much information. There's such thing as not enough too much information. I'll let everybody know. If someone asks me like a question about something, I'll go in depth and detail about it. Like the other day, whenever I was... Uh... <sighs> so, uh, it was um, a can piece of candy or something like that I got. And... Um, I went to take a bite, and my one of my teeth inside my mouth uh, 
hit my lip in just a certain way and it cut it and I started tasting the, the metallic taste of blood and I was like oh hmm, blood oh, that stuff tastes good mm. Sire C underscore says are you gonna ask me about the appearance of these stones and the color too then <laughs> I've never I don't think I've ever had a kidney stone so what do they actually look like then again, whenever I had my gallbladder surgery, I asked them if I could have my gallbladder back. And they said, no, you can't keep it. And like, Just Paul McCover says, so, I have been secretly working at Dollar General for years and posted a video on the internet about how shitty it is to work there with a bunch of overflow stock just sitting on the front end of the store. Just got fired. Just got Hale fired. Hail Chimera says, there's also FBI files stating that Elvis Presley actually did fake his death and changed his name and lived his life as someone else. Bob Joyce. <laughs> yep. There's been all sorts of stuff. The Elvis conspiracy, though, it would make so much damn sense. That's why I love the Sire Bob Joyce C story. underscore says, you know those expanding spiky plastic balls that kids sometimes play with? Yes. Yes. Sire C underscore says, it's like that, but much more serrated. Oh wow. Just call McCover says, yes. And Tupac faked his death and moved to a private island. And there's like some footage out there of some kid that looks like Tupac. Just Call McCover says, misinformation is going to ruin this stupid planet. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> We've already ruined it enough as it is anyway. Yay! My, my, other, my shit bladder says it's time to go take a shit. But I'm saying no. I'm gonna hold that shit. I'm gonna hold that shit in. Maybe we won't fart and then just splatter out like a hippo. Let's see. Oh, you're on the misinformation. Hail Chimera action. says, can be misinformation if it's in official FBI files? Sire C underscore says, also my kidney stones tend to be colored dark booger yellow. I guess that makes some sense. Because, uh,. You know, the internals and stuff like that. Even bile. You know, whenever Hail you Chimera vomit enough says, and bile comes up. You. When when bile comes up, it's got like a, a yellowy, browny look to it, depending. That's what makes your turds all like the color they are. Bile. And I think it also goes into your kidneys, too. So that would be, that makes a lot of sense. Yellowish. Well, you got to think, too. Sire kidneys C filter. Underscore says, contrary to popular belief, for me. They don't hurt coming out. I bet it felt good, though. Uh, did you change, like, your diet or anything so that you wouldn't get them anymore? Like, you know, drink more fluids or something? Because I know a lot of people that uh, that get kidney stones, they're, like, a uh, primary care physician or something will say, you know, stop drinking this if you drink this, or start eating this or whatever, you know, to, to keep from, from happening. Sire C underscore says... It feels like the world's least audible plop coming out. Plop. Just Call McCover says, yes it can. Until an official FBI agent at FBI headquarters hands me said files, I have to assume any information presented to me is being done so maliciously. In a court of law. Dun, dun, dun. What about CIA files? If it's CIA, would you believe it? Like any anything CIA involved. Like if it has an official stamp that says CIA Sire C document. underscore says, also yet, yeah, the any organization can hand you files and claim it real. That's why I like that remote viewing thing. CIA files that you can read about it. That's why I like the Lacerda files. Damn, these boots. Shit, oh wow. Oh yeah, I can't go there. Sire C underscore says, you know what my favorite fact about the body is? Just Call McCover says, what? the only CIA agent I can trust is Sidney Bristow. Sidney Bristow. FBI. CIA, yeah, 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 yeah. 
What is your favorite fact about the body? The blood comes out when you cut it. Um, the jugular can really evacuate the blood fast uh, because the heart pumps it. You just you let the heart pump it just itself instead of draining it. Just call Mikover says. My favorite fact about the body is that female breast exist. Yes. Sire C underscore says, your butt contains neurons. So whenever you claim someone is thinking with their rectum, you have a fact to back up their idiocracy. Yeah, I love it. Just call Mikover says, and I love sinking my face into them. I've never done that before. Everyone's done more than I ever have and ever will, that's for damn sure. That's why I would need to have a breast pillow. Be a breast friend. <laughs> um. You're my breast friend. Contains neurons, so a butt can think then. Butts have feelings too. <laughs> Sire C underscore says, I prefer women to men, but I won't lie a good looking honky will get my dinky rinky. If you sprinkle when you tinkle, be a sweetie and wipe the CD. Just call Mikover says, I like sinking other things into the butt area. Like cheeseburgers. What goes in? Gotta come out. Just call Mikover says, I was thinking soft serve ice cream. Soft serve ice cream. Two girls, one cup. You really have to clean out an anal hole for that. Like severely sanitize it and everything. Sire C underscore says, and yes, butts have feelings too. They also have taste buds. So people aren't just thinking with their rear, but also tasting their POO2. And did you know that it's possible to see with your tongue? You had to have a special device, though, but still, it's possible. It's not a very clear picture. It's more of like a, an outline-y type, you know. Like if someone uh, had a really blurry, blurry, blurry image without color, you know. And uh, it was sharpened and outlined or whatever. But it's possible. Because the sensors inside the tongue are actually C. Sire C underscore says, that would be cool. Well, that's Just what I was, uh, I was says, studying that. Actually. Ever shat out a meal prepared with habanero peppers? It isn't fun. Oh, I usually see everything that I eat. That's for damn sure. <laughs> My stools are always pale. And, 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 and doughy. Because I don't have a gallbladder, and my bile doesn't build up enough to actually digest things correctly. So anything that I eat, the color of that particular item is seen yet again. It's like eating corn all the time. I don't absorb nutrients the way I should. Yay. But yes, um... When I was just looking up uh, random information one time, people who were blind that um, still had an optic nerve, you know, because that's essential in C, um, but they had, like, uh, damage to their eyes or their eyes didn't develop or were taken out due to cancers or whatnot whenever they were young, they had a certain device that they would uh, put on their tongue and uh, the sensors could then relay the information to their brain's optic nerve and they would be able to see an outline of something you know I always thought that was pretty fascinating so stuff like in Star Trek where Geordi LaForge has the visor that shit can be real habanero peppers Do, 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 do. 
Now, if you have an underdeveloped optic nerve, that would be a different story, though. Sire C underscore says, Law Forge's visor has been real at least since 2001. Nice. Irk. Nice. Yeah, I mean, all it is is like a, an, a new eye or whatever, you know. Geordie LaFarge. LaForge. LaForge these papers. Time to wake up, Malcolm. And get back in the middle. Malcolm in the middle. Hello, tardigrade. Tardigrades are cool. They're all around us. Microscopic and everything. They can live without water for a long time. They can go dormant forever. It seems like the more single-celled you are, like less cells, the more you can live longer. The more complex you are, the more shit breaks down, you know? Talking away. Oh, I don't know what I'm to say, I'll say it anyway. Today's another day to find you. Sire C underscore says. Should I tell him the secret to multicellular organisms? Yes. The secret is 42. I helped a cricket out today and I feel so pre uh, I feel so accomplished from doing it. It was jumping around inside the store on the floor and I thought that's th that dude's going to get killed. So I went down there and I kind of cornered it up a little bit, you know, with my hands on one side or the other, and made like a little tiny cave for it because they like little dark spots. And he ran over there to it, you know, and got in. And I said to us, like, if you crawl up into my hand, I'll take you outside and I'll put you in the grass. So it, it climbed up onto my, faint, my hand and I saw that it was a male cricket. And I said, okay, little guy, I'm going to take you outside. So I took him outside, and I allowed him to, to be opened and viewed. Sire C underscore says, we're just a bunch of monocellular organisms working in tandem. That happen to each have a special purpose needed to survive and function. We're all just bugs. That's right. You know. We are, that's that is so true. We're, we're just like, we're parasites, really, you know. If you think about a bug. <laughs> Consumer slash para parasite. <clears throat> At least that's how I think of us. <sighs> Constructed by an alien race that's left us here to rot. <clears throat> the Anunnaki. Or the Illusion. Illusionaki? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Gain salvage. Ooh, damn it. I wish I'd have remembered that. Harvest materials. Space. Defense of Starbase 1. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, gain salvage. Who the hell had some salvage? I don't really use this character. How far until that perk? Eight. Maybe it may be able to go through today. Let's say eight and three. Eleven. So yeah, that should pop it right over there to the next one. Okay. Let me see. Who had some stuff to throw away? I think Jim Hadar Kirak. Let me go to him. Jim Hadar Kirak. Because that's what I believe. I believe that we were genetically modified from a subspecies and uh, evolved 
prematurely, like a lab rat type scenario. Maybe a workforce for a human, for an alien race, and then we're just the experiment that uh, maybe continues to exist because they want us to, and or they themselves are just done with us and moved on. They're coming back to call us later. Who knows? Polaron split beam salvage. Ooh, that was a good gain right there. Look at that salvage. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, uh, hi, Mark. Oh, uh, hi there. MC Wolfcat1 says, Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Gulf 2 Goof and Gulf 2 Lava Coffee. Hey, hey. Hello there, MC Wolfcat. How are you doing? How are the rains that aren't in Africa? How's the Southern Hemisphere doing today, this morning? <laughs> Sire C underscore says, I keep looking on Steam for a game to play. Uneasy face. Who said something early? What, what was it? Uh, a few days ago, there was a free game that was going to be ending on the 7th, which is already over. Never mind. <laughs> Looking on Steam for a game to play. Well, what are you looking forward to playing? Like any type of genre? Shire C underscore says, pick that up. LOL. You, what, what was the MC game called? MC Wolfcat 1 says, doing good, thanks. Been raining basically nonstop here by me for the last two days. How's you? Sire C underscore says, RPG or a fighter. Hmm. Role playing Sire C underscore game. says, warm or verminatide. That's what it was, yes. Is it still, like, available or, or not? I doubt it is, isn't it? I bless the rains down in Africa. There's a War of Thunder that's free to play. Apex, Apex Legends? That's a not a fighter game. Uh, <laughs> uh Mortal Kombat. Um MC Wolfcat one says, lurking he he he. Lurking? Be jerking, be lurking. Do it. Do it. Lurk away. Lurk away. Lark. The lurker. The groggy texture continues to lurk. In the shadow. Sire C underscore says, I've bought Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate three times. Bought it? How did, how, wait, how do you buy it three times? Under different uh, accounts or something? I have, never, I have not played Mortal Kombat 11 yet. I can't remember the last one that I played. Sire C underscore says, Switch, ah. PS4, and XS. You you did the Batman Arkham Asylum thing like I did. Yeah, that's how you... Okay, it makes sense then. Because I, I, I had bought uh, Arkham back then like for three different... Uh, or one of no, two versus the other one. So it was like, yeah, yeah. It was a two PC, Xbox. So that's three, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, let's see where we want to go. This is Japari. And did you um, play the story mission on Mortal Kombat Ultimate on all three of those to get to the same unlocks and things so that you could be able to play it? Sire C underscore says, I did. Nice. It was great. Well, if you have a PlayStation 4, they have a there's a Street Fighter um, HD remix thing or something out there for if you ever would like to play Street Fighter 2. They've uh, enhanced the graphics and stuff like that. <sighs> oh, shit. 
Enter the Japari system. This is Japari. Now loading. Previously on the loading screen. Wesley Crusher. Why is he still there anyway? Will Wheaton. Will. Will. Wheel, 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 wheel. We're gonna get snackered, I tell you what, boy, man. I wanna get all messed up and it just pollute our mind. It's a three sheets of dang old wind, man. Three sheets of dang old wind, man. Oh. Three sheets. Space, the final frontier. These aren't the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. These are the voyages of Star Trek Discoveries. Little brother, the toilet prize. <laughs> Do not engage with enemy. Do not engage with enemy. Y'all just do your own little fight, and I'm over here doing my own thing, too. So, yeah, all right. I should have, uh, there we go. I won't like gas. I just collected some gas. I'm gonna go down on the planet and get me some gas. I'm gonna eat some of those beans and have some gas. Gas coming out of my ass. Is there any more to collect up here? Which one is the button for like scanning? Okay, there it is. I forget all about that button. Alright, depart system, come right back to it to reload that map. You gotta love the little glitchy stuff we do in this game. Instead of do things right, we're like, nah, let me do it this way. <laughs> this is Jeppery. Previously on Star Trek the Online series. We got the pudding! Pudding pops are in these a rush guys these days. The wrong system. Did they? You get them, Sean, or whatever your name is, guy. What is that plan to get to have such a pretty, like, shield thing or something? La 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 la. <clears throat> okay, then one more up here. Wrong button. Wrong button there, buddy. Wrong button there. Um, yeah. Wrong button there. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wrong button. Baby. Yay. Can seal. Cannot. Can too. Come on, little guy. Let's go save the universe. That sucks. This ship, whenever it goes to warp, should have that little sound like a... You know, like in the original series. Oh, damn. Look, I just had sprint speed increase yesterday, and now I get to have it again? I'm going to buy that again. <laughs> collect reward. We're going to collect the reward. The reward money. You know what I mean, Vern? An all new episode of Alone starts right now.
Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Supposed to be a cold front to come through, but it ain't that cold. You know, it's hot, hot, hot. Look what I did, I little jerk. She goes, there she goes again, racing through my brain, and I just can't contain this feeling that remains. Visit Starship Bridge, the Starship from the stairs. <laughs> Wesley Crusher, you're still there. His nose looks weird. It's like they didn't quite know what to do with it. Wesley always I always thought of him as like being a crybaby on board the ship. But I want to sit on the bridge. Yeah. And I want to sit there too. <laughs> Get shit on! Oh, yes. Deck. Slap. My quarters is my bed here. The sheets are a little wrinkled, but I can't ever get them straight. This is my computer. The imposter will not be injured. I'm Captain Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gets it. Okay. Everyone's sitting on the floor. Good, good, good. Okay. My floor loves my mashed potatoes in here. Okay. Gotta love the mashed potato smell on floors. And then my taters. Taters is yummy. Sometimes. Mmm. Meanwhile, Gary continues. In a day or two, talking LA. Gary the Klingon, hello there. You shall be avenged. Would you like to come to my ship? I have a very little ship right now, but you should see my galaxy class ship. It is very huge. It is very, very huge. I shall attack you in combat. The flame attacked Gary, so Gary's got to take his revenge on the flame. Okay. Okay, so Starbase 1 is something that we need to do. We can do that as Gary the Klingon. But before we do that right there, before, not before, but before, we need to get our bearings here. I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to go over here, 
Everyone remember whenever it used to be super populated on Kronos? And now it's like that. Account bank, boy. How you doing, Dana? How you doing tonight? Mm hmm. Okay, so, Gully. Gully. Hello there, Gully. Hello there. Hello, Gary. How you doing here, Gary? I'm doing all right here. Yeah. How you doing? No, oh, Gary. Come here, Gary. Yeah. All right, we need to put it on all. Put this down to about right there. Look for the D. Defense of Starbase 1. And go. <laughs> Wink. Gary accepts every challenge that he can win. Gary goes to war. Gary goes to war. Gary. Listen up. The Listen up. I don't want to have to repeat myself, but. Listen up. The war has not been going well for the Federation. And I'm not with the Federation, but what did you say? Listen up. The war. Yeah. Attack the Federation. Golden cloak. That way, the Federation cannot assume. My brethren, no. West bound and east, loaded up and smelling. We're gonna do what they say can't be done down there. We're on a long way to get there, and a long way to get there, and a long way to hello. Fleet. Fleet. Kaboom! <clears throat> so we can go back into cloaking. I'm being shot at, damn it. Boy, I said now, boy. The Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons, Transformers, robots in disguise. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. The Transformers, Transformers. Tink or tonk or tonk. Stop attacking Gary. Gary, stop attacking Gary. Gary, stop attacking, mister. Mister, stop attacking, mister. You... We are in cloaking mode here. Optional defend ships. Randomly pushes a bunch of buttons, thinking they're doing something important.
Come here, you. Get over here. Mm. Dun, 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 spaghetti and meatball sandwich. Knight Rider. A shadowy flight to the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Michael Knight, a young loner of the champion, the cause of the innocents, the helpless, the powerless, in a world of criminals who operate above the law. Sonic Boomba. Ah, la 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 And come out of cloak and attack. Attack no one. We. Point. La 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 One evening as the sun went down the jungle fire was burning up the road come a hobo hiking he said, boys, I'm not journeying, I'm heading for land that's far away, beside the crystal fountain. So come with me, we'll go and see the big rock candy mountains. In the big rock candy mountains, all the cops have wooden legs. The little streams of alcohol come a-trickling down the rocks. There are no short-handled shovels, no box for spires or picks. Gonna stay with his sleep all day and behind the Turk and invented work at the Blig Rock Candy Mountain. Not the Big Rock, the Blig Rock. That's how he says it, the real the guy that actually made that song. He messed up. He called it the Blig Rock. It's heard in uh Oh Brother Where Art Thou? In the Blig Rock Candy Mountain. Blah 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 blah. You screwed up your own lyrics, you son of a bitch. Okay. Madre de Dios! Mother of God! No! Hello? Welcome to the most boring thing you've ever seen. I'm your host, the most boring person you've ever seen. Searching for a way to tap into the hidden strengths that all humans have, Dr. Sam Beckett stepped into the gamma radiation chamber. Boom! <laughs> Up feeling different, remembering nothing about the accident, facing consequences that he could not atone, and driven by rage and pursued by an investigative reporter. A man hot on his trail is Al, 
the investigative reporter, who continuously follows Sam wherever he may appear. And now, when Dr. Beckett grows angry or outraged if a startling metamorphosis occurs, Dr. Beckett is believed to be dead, and he must let the world think that he is dead until he can find a way to control the raging spirit that dwells within him. <laughs> <clears throat> what the hell happened there? <laughs> Paisno. Stab a spice not here. You're rotting. Da di da di da. Up on the housetop, reindeer paws, I'll jump girls, Santa Claus. Down to the chimney with lots of toys, all for the little one's Christmas joy. A uh, minor Klingon house has agreed to accept a refugee to board your ship to exchange for acceptable blah 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 Sanctuary. Cool. Cool. That's so awesome, boss. That's awesome, boss. Yeah. Okay, got those. R&D, totally forgot about uh, queuing those up before I did the that. So that's gonna suck ass. It's gonna suck ass. Oh, it let me suck ass. Oh, look at that. It's let me suck ass some more. Oh, I love it. I love to suck ass. Socrates. Socrates, dude! Socrates. Socrates. How's this going? Just a few more doors. And that'll be upgraded. Upgrade all fleet members call trader tra call trade freighter and transport kiosk freighters to have a fifty percent reduction in recharge time. Okay. That can come in handy somehow other than today. Fleet upgrade the lithium ore refining assignment unlocked. Complete this turn will allow all fleet members to refine a moderate amount of additional dilithium per day by completing a duty officer assignment available at the minor foreman contact, bitch. Okay. Ooh, my God, the energy credits required for that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's out of the flit. <laughs> fleet upgrade. Dilithium store discount. Complete this project will grant all fleet members... A 5% discount on the theme store. This project stacks with fleet. Yes, yeah, sure, that. Good idea. Delinthium mine transwarp. Man, we'll get around to that. <laughs> we'll get around to that eventually. <laughs> okay. Alright. Get that going on. I don't think so, Tim. Let's see how far this one went. Two hours and 26 minutes. Wow. Has it really been that short of a time? That's so insane. Wow.
Well, it's pretty good. It's a Monday, and I'd like to watch Quantum Leap before I go to bed. So that seems like a good place to stop Gary's stupid shit that he's doing today, right? All right. If everyone made it to this point in the video, press F in the chat. Just call Mikora <laughs> says, Gary the dumbass. Gary the dumbass. And the person that created Gary is a dumbass. So it works either way. So yeah, I'm going to get off of here. Figure out a file transfer method that works. But the uh, quantum leap. And I need to clean up the kitchen because uh, since I cooked, I made a mess. I need to do that before everybody wakes up. So I gotta do that like immediately. Gravy. Dude, how you doing, the gravy? Gravy. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, everybody have a good night, evening, day, morning, wherever you are in the world. Stay cheeky bricky, as Boris would say. Cheeky bricky is dumpy. And here we go. Five. Four, three, two, one. Bye-bye.